when I don't read my Bible, I do not feel guilty, but I feel hungry. And when I read my Bible, I do not feel proud. I feel full. Now, this is a representation of feeding. Whenever you are hungry, there is a state that your body, your soul, and your whole being gets into. It gets trapped in irritability. It gets trapped in anger, short temper, impatience, and all of those negative things. I mean, physically. And that shows that it gets trapped in the works of the flesh from the biblical point of view. So it means when you don't feed, that is what you get because you are hungry, because you are empty. And your emptiness is what leads to depression. So you are trying to get filled. And that is why most times people are empty and they try to get themselves filled with, you know, medicate with porn, medicate with all kinds of sexual immorality, medicate with drugs and substance. And the truth is, Scripture says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. The question I ask is, why should you fast from what you should live on? God never advised you or told you to fast on his word. You are supposed to eat and live by the word. Man shall not live by bread, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So you are not supposed to fast on what you should live on. So when you are in a place that you do not read your Bible, it does not mean that God will punish you. It does not mean that God loves you less. Neither does reading your Bible means that God loves you more. The reality is that God loves you and his love is constant. And when you read your Bible, that's when you will be assured of that love and you'll feel it tangibly. Because deep down in this love story, you get to see the heart of God through the works, through the relationship with the broken people that are represented in the Bible. And the word of God is life. The scripture is so beautiful to present the word as the bread of life, you know, the living water. And like we need to, it's something we need to take in. We need to feed on. We need this word to be able to survive. Just like we eat to survive. And the other part of feeding or eating is for pleasure and craving. Which means you are not feeding because of obligation, so to say. But when you are hungry, you feed. The other part is sometimes you crave for some kind of food. Be like, oh, wow, I just feel like eating shawarma. So sometimes you just crave some kind of food. When you crave those kind of food and you get to eat it, then you feel pleased. And that is how you should treat the word of God. Because there are some times that an idea will drop in your heart about studying a particular thing about the word of God. That's a craving, a holy craving that you get to find pleasure when you dig in and study. And then there's this well of joy that wells up and you feel so full. So in my experience, when I get to read the word of God and then get to see God in the world and see Christ in the world, when, when I'm done, I feel full. But that was not my reality some years back. When I would not read the Bible, I would feel guilty. Almost like to beat myself and miss today again. And it was based on obligation. Because, oh, why did I miss? I miss reading my Bible. I set up the time and all of that. It's not based on pleasure. You don't miss eating your food when you're hungry because you are searching for food. You're looking for food. In fact, you're, you are so impatient with everybody. If somebody is even cooking for you, you are, you are towing the kitchen to and fro. Like, the food is not done yet. Oh, like, what's going on? What's keeping it longer? If you're really hungry for the word of God and know that from a place of hunger, that is how you should approach the word. Then that is why you should feed. You should not wait because some of us wait for a Sunday to be fed with the word or to open the Bible. The Bible. We don't feed throughout the week. Imagine how hunger and the reaction of hunger happens to you naturally. Then imagine how you are treating people all through the week without getting in the word of God, without getting the life of God, without feeding on God. Because reading the word of God is literally feeding on God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So whenever you study the word or read the word, it means you're feeding on God. You're eating the food of God. Well, not the food of God, like you're eating God. He said, I am the bread of life. You are, you are eating the bread of life. He himself is that bread. And the reality of eating that bread is his word. And the Bible says that when you eat the word in, it is health to your whole body, not just to your spirit. It is health, which means, I think in Timothy, it says that the word of God profits you with all 
when you go for exercise to the gym, it profits you physically, but in the word of God, it profits you all round, physically, mentally, spiritually, all round. Now, Proverbs chapter 4 says, my son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them, and health to a man's whole body. The word of God is life to us when we feed. We are feeding on life. So do you want to live long? Do you want to have a long life? Do you want to have a fruitful life? Now Jesus came and he said, I came to give you life and that life more abundantly. How do you get to live that abundant life? The word of God is the life you eat. You have to eat the word. And you, you need to be hungry of the word when you are not feeding. Not guilty, but hungry. For example, when you take things too personal all the time, get ang angry too quickly and all of that it means you are empty it means you are hungry your reason for irritability your reason for not being able to be kind to people for not being able to be patient to love is because you've not faith on life you've not faith on the word you are hungry you need to get back to the word yeah the person offended you so scripture says that the anger of man does not prove the righteousness of god if you are fed on the word you will not take it personal because at the end of the day, it doesn't prove the righteousness of God. It does not prove anything. You're going to someone like, do you know who I am? And trying to prove yourself to the person. You do not need to prove yourself to anybody that even gets you offended. They don't deserve that time. It's a waste of time to even try to. Because to some, you may not even get any positive result out of it. Now, going back to what I am talking about, I am encouraging you in today's video on how to approach the word of God, how to treat the word of God, it's with the mindset of, I am hungry, I want to eat. Now, the essence of eating on the word is when you eat out of hunger, that's the one thing. And you don't need to get to a place of hunger to eat. Sometimes you have to get to a place of craving. That I'm craving. I'm craving this. I'm craving that. I'm craving the third. So you need to get to a place that you crave the word. This is a point of maturity and growth. You are not hungry, so to say, but you are craving. A revelation came and then you want to study about a particular topic. You want to study about patience. You want to study about favor. This is a craving. Now, when you get to that place, that is a place of maturity. That you are now craving on the word of God. You are craving to hear the word of God. You are not having itchy ears to hear what will please and suit your soul. But you want the whole counsel of God. I hope today's video is a blessing to you. Let me know in the comment section how this has blessed you and more of what you want to hear in this channel. If you have questions, drop them in the comments and I have my email in the description of this video. You can reach out to me through my email. I am Uwe Mekpan. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so right now and hit the like button. Share this video to your friend, your family and people you know that would need this word. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.